A semantic shift in electric mobility is unfolding right before our eyes. In January 2025, a Finnish company unveiled a compact electric motor weighing just 88 pounds. On paper, it sounds unassuming. Until you realize it produces a jaw dropping 845 horsepower and 4300 newton meters of torque. This motor, dubbed the donut motor, isn't a speculative prototype, it's real, it's already being tested, and it could upend over a century of autonomous engineering. We are talking about a technology that could eliminate the need for fuel, charging stations, and bulky battery packs, and in doing so, reduce EV production costs by as much as 20%. This isn't just a breakthrough in motor design, it could reshape how we build and drive vehicles all together. So let's dive in and see what makes this motor so different and why the entire industry is watching it closely. Despite the rise of electric vehicles, the motors that powers them have remained largely conventional. Traditional EV motors are heavy, complex and often range from 150 to 300 pounds. They rely on intrinsic networks of gearboxes, axles and moving parts all of which increase unsprung mass, reducing handling and raises production costs. Even more critically, their torque density. The twisting force produced per kilogram of weight is limited. Most EV motors generate around 5 to 8 newton meters per kilogram. This restricts acceleration, towing capacity and overall responsiveness. Add in high maintenance demands and the cost of multiple moving parts and it's clear why a rethink was overdue. The Donut Motors breakthrough lies in its humblest radical flux architecture. Instead of placing the motor at the hub or relying on external transmissions, the motor warps its data and the rotor around the outer edge of the wheel. That means greater efficiency diameter which delivers higher torque without increasing complexity. This design isn't entirely new. Early 20th century inventors flirted with similar ideas. But with modern materials and precision engineering, this Finnish company has taken the concept to performance levels of once thought impossible. Let's talk numbers. The donut motor weighs only 88 pounds. They produce a staggering amount of 15.4 newton meters per kilogram, nearly double the density of standard EV motors. With fewer moving parts, vehicles become lighter, more efficient and less expensive to produce and maintain. Beyond performance, this motor's simplified structure could generate enormous financial savings. Eliminating gearboxes, axles and related components doesn't just reduce weight, it also slashes manufacturing complexity. Industry analysts estimate savings of up to 1.2 billion annually in driven tain cost. And those savings don't just benefit manufacturers, they tickle down to consumers through more affordable electric vehicles. In a fiercely competitive market, that's a game changer. Of course, every radical innovation invites skepticism. One concern with in-wheel motors is increased upspring mass, which can affect vehicle stability. But the donut motor creators anticipated this. Their answer? A dynamic tapping system that adapts to terrain and speed in real time, maintaining comfort and control under all conditions. Another hurdle is heat management. In-wheel motors have limited surface areas for cooling. Instead of bulky liquid systems, the donut motor uses conductive materials and optimized airflow to keep temperature stable without extra components. The result? Clean, efficient cooling without complexity. Major automakers like BMW and Ford have long been hesitant about in-wheel motors due to reliability concerns. But early tests suggest that donor motors might finally crack the code offering durability, scalability and cost saving in a single package. Startups like Verge have been betting big on similar tech. Now legacy players are entering the race, spurred by the promises of motors that are lighter, cheaper and more efficient than anything they have produced before. But this isn't just about sports car. The Donut Motors modular, scalable design makes it suitable for urban electric motorcycles, heavy duty free trucks, delivery vans and even commercial EV fleets. Imagine cutting components costs across every vehicle type while improving performance and efficiency. That's a compelling pitch for manufacturers and investors alike. But it's a race. Companies like Toyota are advancing axle flux motors. Others like Toshiba are exploring cryogenic superconducting motors for aircrafts. The donut motor may not be alone, but it's a balance of performance, simplicity and affordability. This gives the donut motor its unique edge. Perhaps the most exciting part of this innovation is its potential to change how energy flows inside a vehicle. 
By integrating a donut motor into each wheel, a car could eliminate the need for a central battery pack entirely. Each wheel becomes a self-contained power unit, capable of proposition and regenerative braking. This means reduced weight, improved energy efficiency, greater design flexibility, lower maintenance and operational costs. It's a bold vision, one that could finally make mass market EVs affordable and practical for everyone. The donut motor isn't just another spec sheet success story. It's a paradigm shift. It challenges the assumption of how electric motors should look, feel and function. It offers performance that rivals supercar in a compact form that simplifies production and slashes costs. This is what the future of mobility looks like. Efficient, affordable, reliable and radically different from what we know today. Whether it becomes the industry standard or inspires the next wave of innovations, one thing is clear. Electric mobility is about to change forever. So, what do you think? Is the donut motor the catalyst for what we have been waiting for? Or just the beginning of a new era of electric ingenuity? Let us know in the comments below and if you are excited about the future of EVs, as we are, be sure to follow for more deep dives into the tech that drives tomorrow. Stay curious, stay informed, the revolution is just getting started.